Process engineering is the understanding and application of the fundamental principles and laws of nature that allow us to transform raw material and energy into products that are useful to society, at an industrial level. By taking advantage of the driving forces of nature such as pressure, temperature and concentration gradients, as well as the law of conservation of mass, process engineers can develop methods to synthesize and purify large quantities of desired chemical products. Process engineering focuses on the design, operation, control, optimization and intensification of chemical, physical, and biological processes. Process engineering encompasses a vast range of industries, such as agriculture, automotive, biotechnical, chemical, food, material development, mining, nuclear, petrochemical, pharmaceutical, and software development. The application of systematic computer-based methods to process engineering is, "...process systems engineering." Topic overview Process engineering involves the utilization of multiple tools and methods. Depending on the exact nature of the system, processes need to be simulated and modeled using mathematics and computer science. Processes where phase change and phase equilibria are relevant require analysis using the principles and laws of thermodynamics to quantify changes in energy and efficiency. In contrast, processes that focus on the flow of material and energy as they approach equilibria are best analyzed using the disciplines of fluid mechanics and transport phenomena. Disciplines within the field of mechanics need to be applied in the presence of fluids or porous and dispersed media. Materials engineering principles also need to be applied, when relevant, regardless of the exact tools required. Process engineering often requires the use of a process flow diagram (PFD), where material flow paths, storage equipment such as tanks and silos, transformations such as distillation columns, receiver, head tanks, mixing, separations, pumping, etc., and flow rates are specified, as well as a list of all pipes and conveyors and their contents, material properties such as density, viscosity, particle size distribution, flow rates, pressures, temperatures, and materials of construction for the piping and unit operations the process flow diagram is then used to develop a piping and instrumentation diagram pnid which graphically displays the actual process occurring pnid are meant to be more complex and specific than a pfd the pnid is then used as a basis of design for developing the system operation guide or functional design specification which outlines the operation of the process from the pnid a proposed layout general arrangement of the process can be shown from an overhead view plot plan and a side view elevation and other engineering disciplines are involved such as civil engineers for site work earth moving foundation design concrete slab design work structural steel to support the equipment etc all previous work is directed toward defining the scope of the project, then developing a cost estimate to get the design installed, and a schedule to communicate the timing needs for engineering, procurement, fabrication, installation, commissioning, startup, and ongoing production of the process. Depending on the needed accuracy of the cost estimate and schedule that is required, several iterations of designs are generally provided to customers or stakeholders who feedback their requirements. The process engineer incorporates these additional instructions scope revisions into the overall design and additional cost estimates, and schedules are developed for funding approval. Following funding approval, the project is executed via project management. <laughs> Principal areas of focus in process engineering Process engineering activities can be divided into the following disciplines process design synthesis of energy recovery networks synthesis of distillation systems azeotropic synthesis of reactor networks hierarchical decomposition flow sheets superstructure optimization design multi product batch plants design of the production reactors for the production of plutonium design of nuclear submarines process control model predictive control controllability measures robust control nonlinear control statistical process control process monitoring thermodynamics based control Process operations, scheduling process networks, multi period planning and optimization, data reconciliation, real time optimization, flexibility measures, fault diagnosis, supporting tools, sequential modular simulation, equation based process simulation, AI, expert systems, large scale nonlinear programming, NLP, optimization of differential algebraic equations, DAEs, mixed integer nonlinear programming, MINLP, global optimization. Process economics – This includes using simulation software such as Aspen, SuperPro to find out the break-even point, net present value, marginal sales, marginal cost, return on investment of the industrial plant after the analysis of the heat and mass transfer of the plant. History of process engineering Various chemical techniques have been used in industrial processes since time immemorial. However, it wasn't till the advent of thermodynamics and the law of conservation of mass in the 1780s that process engineering was properly developed and implemented as its own discipline. 
The set of knowledge that is now known as process engineering was then forged out of trial and error throughout the Industrial Revolution. The term process, as it relates to industry and production, dates back to the 18th century. During this time period, demands for various products began to drastically increase, and process engineers were required to optimize the process in which these products were created. By 1980, the concept of process engineering emerged from the fact that chemical engineering techniques and practices were being used in a variety of industries. By this time, process engineering had been defined as the set of knowledge necessary to design, analyze, develop, construct, and operate, in an optimal way, the processes in which the material changes." By the end of the 20th century, process engineering had expanded from chemical engineering-based technologies to other applications, including metallurgical engineering, agricultural engineering, and product engineering. See also